Hi everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and welcome to our happy. I have to start with a little bit of a sad note starting out today though. The flower industry lost someone very important who meant a lot to a lot of us, and that's Jim Johnson last night, or yesterday. Um, you ever met someone, you walk in the room that you feel like you've known forever, and they always have a smile on their face, and they're always willing to help no matter what you need done? That was Jim Johnson. Um, in my career, I've always been a little intimidated by most people when I walk into a room, or especially when I was younger, especially the big name people, like Lynn Larry. Lynn Larry, you did intimidate me. Bill Plummer, he still intimidates me. But you know, certain people, you know, especially when you see them on stage and you follow them, follow them, you think they're the best thing since sliced bread. Well, Jim Johnson always made me feel comfortable when, when I walked over with him. He always asked how I was doing. He always was seemed like he was concerned about you as a person. It's not as much as a designer. So I, I know Texas is totally distraught right now because Jim was so important to all the people, especially in the Texas area where he was from in Houston. He um, had the school that he was very good friends with uh, Buddy Benz and did so much for, um, I know that the Garden Club scene's gonna be very distraught about this and sad because he did a lot with our Garden Club as well. So to the family of Jim Johnson, man, you had a great dad. I mean, a great dad. So with that being said, let's try a little bit of happy because that's what Jim would want us to be right now. So we're gonna start out with some kale. I don't have anything pre-planned today, as you can tell some artichoke leaves, which these are super duper cool. Some peonies, which I don't think I've ever seen this clear of a blue. Those I mean, are beautiful. They're so pretty. And then we have some really cool green hydrangea. Not your typical blush or soft green or spring green. A little bit of bunny tail. So, got some Cap LA dahlias. Oops, that's not all dahlias, that's some lilies too. Aren't those fun though? Super fun. They just came in. And then some steel bee. We're gonna do a little bit of Rubrum Lily. At least that's what they call them from Canada. This is Euphorbia Martini, which Euphorbia actually is all in the same family as a poinsettia. So when we cut it, it's gonna have that milky surface to it. And then we're gonna do a little bit of lilac and the purple. So what we're gonna work with today is one of these containers from the Diamond Star. I'm sure my buddy Art Bass kicked that out. And so what we'll do first is we're gonna actually take this artichoke leaf. So how is everybody doing today? Everyone's good. Everybody's good. We have South Africa, sunny California, Houston, Texas, Greece, Jonesboro. Mercy. Of course, Miss Peggy and Miss Alice, Magnolia. Someone said the peonies are my favorite. Someone asked if you could show the bunny tail again. I will. It's bunny tail on steroids. I'm sure that's not the right name, but that's what we're going to call it today. <laughs> so now we're going to crisscross this. And so basically going that direction. We're going more horizontal first. And now we'll go back and do a little bit of our hydrangea, the base. We're going to take all those leaves off constantly. Oh, sorry by the way, yesterday, don't know what happened, the, the Facebook gods did not let us post, I don't know what happened, but yesterday's Facebook Live did not post back again after we finished. Must have not have been very good. Anyway, so, hopefully today when we finish, we'll be able to post that back. I had a few people asking what happened to it. So... Now a lot of people didn't ask about it, so. <laughs> so anyway, so there's that part of it. Someone asked, what is the large greenery that you put in? This one or this one? This is artichoke leaves, and this is a monsteria leaf. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and actually add some lime material, or a little bit of this lilac in next. We have friends from Tennessee, Georgia, 
Girls in the back watching. We just have everybody. Girls in the back? Back of the store? Back of the store. Oh, mercy. Janae. Oh, Janae. And Miss Christy comes on sometimes, okay. too. That lilac is beautiful. It's green, and it's super, super tight. So once it starts to open, it's going to get a much lighter, like a, more, a lilac color. <laughs> <laughs> so, should be really pretty once we finish. So is everybody getting ready for Mother's Day? Let's see what they say Let's if they are. They say. Well, the people that are not in the U.S. are kind of like, well, we don't care. We don't have Mother's Day here. So, or it's already passed. Yeah, and... it's already had theirs. Is there chicken wire, or is that a large foliage, or is that large foliage making the foam? Uh, the large foliage is helping hold things in place. There's no chicken wire on this one. Maybe there should have been, but there's not. Hold them out just right. At least it may not fall over like that topiary one almost did. No, let's keep moving. <laughs> keep moving. People love this color combination today. Okay. So now we're going to add our dahlias. What kind of dahlias did you say these Cafe, are? A la, oh, I'm saying it wrong. Cafe, I'll call it Cafe Lay, but it's not. It's A-U-L-A-U, -A -A then L-A-I-T, I believe. Flower people out there, I'm sure you're going to correct me, so correct me now. So everybody can figure out what it is. Someone said it looks like you've had a haircut. You know, I don't know what happened. I had my hair cut a couple weeks ago. And I kind of woke up this morning and I thought, uh, especially after we did that other Facebook Live about the flowers out front, and I looked and I thought, well, what happened to my hair? It's all right. It's going to grow back out. We'll spin this around for you. Now I'm going to work on the back part. Oopsie, keep spinning. Oh, sorry. Someone said tomorrow is their first day back to work after the quarantine, and they have some other state orders. Oh, awesome. Well, I think those of us that are able to have Mother's Day are going to have a really good one because we've been, we've been pretty busy here at the store. But most of the orders are, of course, why, of course, there's not any orders that are coming in from walk-in because our showrooms are still closed and they will be closed um, throughout the holiday for sure. And then, so we're still taking, we're doing a drive-through. Actually, we did a short video this around lunch about that part of it. Someone asked, is it too late to order for Mother's Day? No, ma'am. No, sir. Whoever. We're still taking orders. We did have to cut out deliveries today. We got kind of overwhelmed with what, how much we had to do. And it's not so much getting the orders done. It was the fact that we didn't have enough drivers in place. Someone said that we're all wondering what happened to our hair during this time. <laughs> Someone asked, what is the large foliage? They came in late. We've had a lot of those questions. This one is artichoke leaves. Miss Alice said she loved our morning video. This is a more freeform contemporary design. It's not preset. 
it's not my usual, what I call seven a little wide. Kind of airy, and it's also a lot of color blocking. Let me spin this around for you. Love that dahlia, it's so pretty. So as these peonies open, they're gonna just fill this whole cluster right here, make a great focal point of, high, of that peony. So anyway, that's our happy for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, once again, the Johnson, Jim Johnson family, we're thinking about you, you're in our prayers. Um, we're so sorry but he was a wonderful man. And I'm kind of betting that heaven's a little bit prettier right now because I'm sure he's lumping it up up there. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Happy, happy early Mother's Day. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about some other stuff. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye.